In this video, I want to take some time to look at the setup for the environment we are going to use for programming as we do our investigation of big data analytics with Sparks. I am using SBT, the Scala build tool, for doing this. It helps us to organize a number of things. And so I want to kind of look at the files that we're using here, at least briefly. It turns out that you do not have to carefully type in all of this. I am putting all of it on a uh, in a GitHub repository, and so you will be able to find it. It's under github.com, Mark C. Lewis, Big Data Analytics with, with Spark. You'll be able to find these files, uh, at least as they are when, when I finish the, the video series, uh, which will have all of the dependencies that we need. So I've created a directory that I'm going to work in here, and when you create an SBT project, SBT uses the same directory structure as Maven, um, I don't currently have any of the source directories in here, but I have a build.sbt where that I have pre-populated with some settings. Uh, at the time of my making this, Spark does not like to work with Scala 2.12 yet, so I am using Scala 2.11.8 you should probably check to see what version of Scala is most appropriate for the version of Spark that you have. We'll talk about this uh, again when we actually, in a later video, show you how to pull down Spark. Uh, and then I have, actually you won't download it quite possibly because I have a set of library dependencies here that include Spark and ScalaFX, uh, which we will is involved in the plotting of data. So this is the build.sbt file, and it basically sets up a single project for us here and lists our dependencies. In addition to that, inside of the project directory, I have a build properties and a plugin.sbt. So right now my build properties just states what version of sbt I'm using. They just came out with SPT 1.0. Actually, I think they now have 1.0.1. 1.0.0 was giving me some trouble, so I'm sticking with the 0.3.16 for now. And as far as plugins, I like to use Eclipse for, for doing my work. And so I have the SPT Eclipse plugin. And with those things in place, I can run SBT. The SBT tool will do things like compiling for us. Uh, we can run, it'll also pull down the dependencies for us. And because of that plugin, now of course if I type in compile right now, I don't have any source files, so it doesn't have much of anything to work on. If I type in Eclipse, it will make uh, the files for our Eclipse project and it goes through and it it looks at the dependencies because Eclipse needs to know about those things for the class path. So this is going to build up an Eclipse project file which then I will open up so that you can see and I will import it so you can see how that's done uh, so that you can work along in the following videos in much the same way that I am doing here. By the way when you first run SBT, you're going to get a lot more messages than I did because I had already run SBT and I had pulled down uh, many of the things. The first time you run SBT and the first time that you run compile, there's a good chance you are going to be sitting there for a while while things download and, uh, and are built for you, much like is happening to me here when I run Eclipse. But for you, that's likely to happen at all three stages. So, while this is pulling down, I also have two data files in here. Note that the target directory is something that was created by uh, SBT when, uh, with the compiling. I'm going to go ahead and while that is setting up Eclipse, I'm going to make our source directories. So all source for Maven projects goes in a directory called source. And then this has two subdirectories that you can use, main, and if you are writing any test code, test. And underneath main and test, 
you would have subdirectories either for Java or Scala or both. Um, I'm only using Scala for this project, so I'm going to create a main Scala. I guess we could go ahead and create a test Scala as well. And that is where we are going to put our files. Now, we still don't have Eclipse set up, so we could go ahead and vi a file inside of source main Scala. And I'll just set up something simple main dot Scala because we want to verify that our SVT install is working and doing what we want. I'm going to write a little Scala object here that doesn't do much of anything. I'm going to put in a def main. The reason I'm not extending app, and I've seen a number of sources say that Spark does not always work nicely with extends app, so I am going to manually put in a main. We actually won't do that on all of our applications, especially when we start plotting, but that is a topic for a future video. Okay, so I've written a main here. Our Eclipse is still building over on this side. There are a lot of things associated with Spark that are being pulled in. Let's see how this feels if I run a second SBT. I don't know if this is really advisable. We'll try it anyway. Because while that's building Eclipse, I should potentially be able to compile my one source code. Nope. That other one is locked until, until the Eclipse process gets done. Okay, so now that the Eclipse process is done, we can see our compile is going over here. And now I want to run that file that we created. I didn't put it in a project, it's just called simple main. You can set up in your SBT for a main that is like the priority main, or you can use the run main command. In our case, I'm going to be making lots of, of little mains for the different things that, that we work with, so I'm going to stick with run main. And if I run simple main, you can see that it prints out the message that I was expecting. Since we have Eclipse, uh, that should be built, and if I get out of this here, there should be a dot .project file. That's what Eclipse is going to look for. There's a few other files in here that were created for Eclipse. If I bring up Eclipse, now I can import general an existing project. Okay, so note I did import, it's also in the file menu, existing project into workspace, and then I need to go find that project. It happens to be right there. So wherever you set this up, and then I can finish. It brings this in. And for example, the simple main that we just worked on is now in here. Uh, all the other things that are associated with our SBT project are available. This will also build stuff and we can run from inside of Eclipse as well. So this shows you how to do the setup. Um, you can make sure you get everything in place before you go on to the next videos where we're actually going to do some work with data using the setup that we've created in this video.